tonight, it's all about the sauce. And specifically, we're going to be using yogurt. And we're going to be using vanilla yogurt because I have a feeling this is going to be the magical ingredient. All right, so what we're going to be making tonight is some shrimp San Cabo tacos with this really delicious sauce, all right? And we're also going to be making a nice sweet sauce that you can put on fruit, you can put it on toast, you can put it on fish. It's so delicious. It's actually whipped cream and yogurt mixed. Doesn't that sound so good? All right, so we're gonna be getting our basic sauces and we're gonna put them all together to make something decadent, something that's out of this world. All right, so let's get started. So I got my pan, it's heating up, and all I gotta do is coat up these shrimp and get them cooking. So if you remember one of my other episodes, I got a little box that's loaded up with a great flour mixture that's got the seasonings all up in it. I don't have to do anything to it, it's always ready to go. All right, so I advise, make one for yourself. I'm just gonna toss this baby in this bowl of delicious, yummy shrimp. And I got some paprika because I like my stuff nice and spicy. So this is always optional. I keep a lot of seasonings in my house because that's where all the flavor comes. I like sauces, don't get me wrong, but when it comes to trying to keep things light, I like to keep spices around because you can make so much flavor with them. And, you know, they last forever. They're, they're in a shelf. So you kind of can't go wrong. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more flour. I wanna get it nice and coated so I can get some nice crispy shrimp. I got me some nice shrimps right here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put these babies in. Oh, but first, I gotta lube up my pan. So I'm gonna use some spray. I like to do half and half. I don't like to use all oil because half of it is to coat the pan to kind of make it not stick, not just to put freaking oil everywhere, if you know what I mean, or butter. Gotta keep things logical, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so I'm gonna get this nice and heated up. It is almost there. All right, let's toss these babies in. And I'm just gonna, well, yeah, I guess I should just put them in instead of having a sauce at the bottom. <laughs> hey, that might be another nice recipe. You get a, a shrimp sauce with all the yumminess. If you don't like that fishy taste, I'd squeeze a lemon or a lime on your shrimp before you decide to do this. Also, this tastes really good with chicken. Yeah, I would have done it with chicken tonight, but I don't have any chicken. <laughs> Um, fish sticks. Fish sticks, that would be delish. You know how quick and simple that is? People are going to be like, wow, nice. Because fish sticks are something that you can always have in the house. They seem like they're really cheap, but you know what? You can make them seem very, very nice and delish and updated in life. Because fish sticks are OG for me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let these babies cook up. Now what I want to do is I want to get deep inside my fridge and I want to see what I can mix in with that yogurt to create my decadent sauce for my tacos. All right, let's get in then. All righty, let's see what we got. Oh, 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 oh. I think this is going to be some good stuff. This is like a creamy guacamole. All right, let's see what else can I add to my sauce. I got me some chipotle. This is really good. This is probably going to give it a nice um, sweet taste. And who knows what else it's going to do. That's what I can't wait for. And I think I'm going to add some tapatio, one of my favorite things for tacos. Afterwards, in between, I don't know. Let's see what we got. Add this to my second sauce. You know, the one with the whipped cream and the yogurt? I think I'm going to add a little bit of orange. I have a feeling that's going to add a little bit of zestiness and a little bit more sweetness and tartness. I can't wait. All right. All right, so now we can start making that delicious sauce for those tacos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some yogurt. And I'm using vanilla yogurt. I know that sounds wild, but I have a feeling it's going to be that magic touch of making that really good sauce. So now I'm going to add a little bit of that guacamole. I guess I'm going to add a lot of the guacamole. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the chipotle. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the shrimp because they are 
kind of done. So I got a little bit of crispiness on one side and I got it nice and tender on the other side. And they're perfectly done. I'm gonna try one because I'm allowed. I wish you were here. There's so much flavor in this shrimp. You could taste the kick from the paprika, or you taste so much love from that flour. Amazingly. You know what? It's almost like the flour's been marinating. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna make the second sauce. And the second sauce is gonna have yogurt in it and whipped cream and orange. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait for you to try it. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me get out a spoon. I'm just gonna get as much as I think that I want. I think I want a spoon and a half. Yeah, I think that's enough. I mean, really, I want way more than that, but I gotta be kind of logical, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get whipped cream and I'm gonna add this to it. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna add the same amount. Don't wanna overload it on something else not as good for me as a yogurt, right? So now I'm gonna get a little bit of the orange and I'm gonna cut it up. Cutting board right over here. All this out of the way. I don't have a stack, it's just me. So <laughs> I gotta figure everything out on my own. And I don't mind it. I get to be comfortable with just you and I. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna squeeze that orange. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm not gonna tell you how much orange I'm putting in there. I'm just gonna let you figure that out on your own, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit, and then you're gonna try it. And you're probably gonna like it. If you want a little bit more. And if you put too much, well then you're screwed. <laughs> And you gotta start all over again. You know what? That doesn't sound very bad to me. I love to be in the kitchen. I love to cook. I love to eat. And others love it too. So I got a lot of fun people around me. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna try this. <laughs> yeah. I lied to you guys. I never actually tried this recipe before. Um, I think I need to have another show called Experimenting with Stuff. <laughs> but no, seriously, I, I didn't, I've never tried this before. And I just felt like that would be really good together because I know what things taste like. I've tasted everything individually and I've tasted it all the way. Like wine tasting, you do your own food tasting. You get your seasonings, you get your condiments, you try them individually. If you haven't done that, you need to, it's gonna be amazing what kind of recipes you can create with all the little corners of your fridge, all the little stuff that you completely underestimate because it's always there. Mm, it's definitely worth checking it out so you can come out with these really good sauces. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a nice beautiful glass and I'm gonna add some apples to it. I'm gonna make a little dessert. Mm-hmm, yummy. Right, so what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of this deliciousness right on top. Oh, heaven! They say this is dessert, but they call it heaven. They say it's breakfast, but I call it heaven, baby. All right, I gotta dig in here. I'm gonna get my good spoon. Let's load it up with goodness already. so light, it's so fluffy. It's definitely different than having yogurt. And you still taste the yogurt taste. <laughs> I added some cereal right on top to give a little bit of crunch. I would have to say that any cereal would be great, but I'm using flakes, just simple flakes, and they're really good. I forgot, I gotta still make some more food. I'm making the tacos. I got so distracted by that. All right, I'm gonna go get those. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so I'm gonna bring them in here. I got everything spread out, but all I have to do is I gotta make the tortillas. I'll be back.
Mm, the tacos are almost done. So now all I gotta do is load these up with my delicious shrimp that are loaded with tons of flavor with the flour mixture that just had some seasonings that I coated with it before I cooked it. I also add a little bit of paprika. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with that. It actually wasn't that spicy and I felt like I added a good portion of it. So don't be afraid of the paprika. I think you'll think it's pretty good even if you don't like spicy. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the delicious sauce that I made earlier. That's that decadent sauce. It's my San Cabo sauce. It's the best San Cabo sauce ever. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. And remember, this is made with vanilla yogurt. You don't want plain. You don't want any other flavor except vanilla because that just gives it that delicious taste. And you just can't figure out what taste that is. You know when you go to a really good restaurant and you're like, what the heck is that sauce? This is one of them. <laughs> and it's so easy to make, you just didn't even know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of cabbage because that just tastes good. And it's not bad for us, so why not add a little bit of crunch, right? And cabbage has a little bit of a sweet kick, so that's really good. If I had avocado, I would have added the avocado, but I don't. But it's okay because I'm just experimenting all this stuff for the first time, right? <laughs> all right, so I gotta try these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 